This is a pendulum monster. It might look scary, but in actual fact, it's just like any other card, except for three key things. One, the border is half spell and half monster. Two, it has two effect boxes. And three, there are two identical numbers located on the card. What are these? Well, let's tackle these one by one. Why is the border of a pendulum monster half monster, half spell? Well, that's because a pendulum monster can be used in two ways. Let's say you have a pendulum monster in your hand. It can be used as either a monster card by summoning it like you would any other card, or it can be used as a spell card by activating it in one of the two pendulum zones. Note, pendulum monsters can only be activated in the pendulum zones. So with this in mind, this also answers our second question. Why does it have two effect boxes? Well, that's because it has a monster effect that you can use when it's played as a monster and a pendulum effect that you can use when it's played as a spell card. Simple enough, right? Well, now we get to the third question. What are those numbers on the card for? Those are called scales. Every pendulum monster has one and they can be any number from zero to 13. When we have two pendulum monsters in both the pendulum zones, this is when we look at their pendulum scales, as these numbers will determine what we can pendulum summon this turn. The unique aspect of the pendulum cards is that they allow you to perform a pendulum summon. Think of this as the same as a normal summon, in that you're only allowed to do it once per turn and only during your main phases. However, unlike normal summoning, you have to have two pendulum monsters on the field first and also you can summon multiple monsters simultaneously. Let me explain. Let's say I have these two pendulum monsters in my hand. I activate one as a spell in one of the pendulum zones. Then I activate the second in the other pendulum zone. It really doesn't matter which one goes where, as now, since I have two pendulum monsters with different pendulum scales, I can now perform a pendulum summon. So what can I summon? Well, with a scale two and a scale eight that I have here, this means we can pendulum summon as many monsters as we want from our hands to the main monster zones whose levels are between those two numbers. Let's learn by doing, shall we? Here I have played a scale two and a scale eight pendulum monster. Now I announce I am pendulum summoning. I can now summon all the monsters I have that are between those two scales. So levels three, four, five, six, and seven. Since level one and level eight is not between those numbers, I can't summon the monsters with those levels. Another example, let's say I have a scale three and a scale five. That means I can only pendulum summon level four monsters, since that is the only number between those scales. Keep in mind you aren't forced to summon all of the monsters between the scales. You can choose which ones you want to summon and which ones you don't, in case you want to hold on to them for later. However, that's not all you can summon. You can also pendulum summon as many face up pendulum monsters in your extra deck as well, as long as their levels or ranks are also between the pendulum scales. However, these monsters can only be summoned into the extra monster zone or zones that a link monster is pointing to, because they are technically an extra deck monster. Now immediately you might be asking, how are pendulum monsters face up in the extra deck? Well, that's because all pendulum monsters have the built-in ability, if they would be sent from the field to the graveyard, they are instead placed face up on top of the extra deck. Let's learn by doing it again, shall we? I have this pendulum monster on the field and it gets destroyed by battle or by card effect. It doesn't really matter. If it's on the field and it would be sent to the grave, it instead goes to the extra deck face up. Another example, my pendulum monster in the pendulum zone, well that just got destroyed, it too goes face up to the extra deck. So let's put what we've learned into use. I have monsters in my extra deck and I have some in my hand as well. Since I have these scales on the field, I can announce I pendulum summon and now I can pendulum summon one of the monsters in the extra deck since the extra monster zone is free. And simultaneously, I can also summon all of the monsters in my hand that I want to as well that have levels between those scales. However, of course, those ones go to the main monster zones. And obviously, if I had a link monster, that would be extending my extra monster zone so I could summon more than one monster from my extra deck if this was the case. Okay, now, I know that was a lot, but bear with me because we're still not done. You see, 
Pendulum Monsters come in a few extra flavors. We have normal and effect Pendulum Monsters. When making your deck, these guys go into your main deck. However, there are also Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz Pendulum Monsters. These three are actually treated as extra deck monsters. So when you're building your deck, these cards are put into your extra deck and act just like any other extra deck card. Then, when we're in a duel, you summon these as you would any other Fusion, Synchro, or Xyz. However, once they are on the field, they now also have the Pendulum mechanics. So if they are sent to the grave, they will instead go face up to the extra deck. And what this means is that you can summon them back with a Pendulum Summon if their level or rank is between the scales on the field. Now then, some of you might still have some questions about Pendulum Monsters, specifically in certain situations and what if scenarios and can I do this or that. So what we'll do now is try to answer them all here. You can activate normal spells and traps in Pendulum Zones if they are unoccupied. An activated Pendulum Monster is treated as a spell card while in the Pendulum Zone. However, it is not considered a normal continuous field, equip, quick play or ritual spell card. This should be obvious, but just like how if your spell and trap zones are full, you can't activate a new spell or trap, the same applies for Pendulums. If both your Pendulum Zones are full, you can't activate a new one. If you have two of the same scales on the field, such as two eights or two fours, since there is no number between those numbers, that means you can't Pendulum Summon anything. So you will have to find a way to get rid of one of those scales to put another scale on the field. Pendulum Monsters cannot be set face down in the Pendulum Zone. They must be activated face up. This also means that they can't be forced into the face down position. Think of how Link Monsters under any circumstances cannot be in defense position or face down. It's the same as that. When a Pendulum Monster is activated as a spell, it is treated as a spell card, which means it can be destroyed by cards like Mystical Space Typhoon and also can be negated by cards, such as by cards like Magic Jammer. And also, they even count towards card effects like Mage Power. Conversely, if you summon a Pendulum Monster as a monster, the same thing applies but for monsters. It can be destroyed by cards like Fissure, it can have its summon negated by Solemn Warning, and it also counts towards cards like United We Stand. However, just to make it super clear, a Pendulum Monster activated as a spell can't be destroyed by Fissure since it is a spell card, and a Pendulum Monster summoned to the field can't be destroyed by a card like Mystical Space Typhoon, since it is a monster. A Pendulum Monster, even if face down, if it would be sent from the field to the graveyard, it is placed face up in the extra deck instead. Even if a Pendulum Monster is tributed on the field for another monster, it still goes to the extra deck face up, since it is being sent from the field. The only time a Pendulum card goes to the graveyard is if it is sent from any location other than the field. For example, from the hand, or if detached from an Xyz monster. Even cards like Herald of the Abyss that specifically states that your opponent has to send a card to the grave, this will still result in the monster going to the extra deck. There is a negative aspect to this though. This means Pendulum Monsters cannot be used to pay costs that require sending cards from the field to the graveyard as they would not be able to go to the graveyard. Thus, you cannot use those cards on Pendulum Monsters on the field. Or if a card negates the summon or the activation of a Pendulum card, since it didn't manage to hit the field, it goes to the graveyard. When you Pendulum Summon, all the monsters summoned are summoned simultaneously. This means if a card like Adhesion Trap Hole is activated, all of the cards summoned are affected at the same time. We mentioned it earlier, but scales, also apply for ranks on Xyz monsters. So if I have a face-up monster in my extra deck, if the scales allow it, that means I can summon an Xyz monster to the field. Regarding the Fusion Synchro and Xyz Pendulum monsters, because they are extra deck monsters, you might think that their Pendulum effects can't be used, since there's no way of activating them as a spell. However, fun fact, most extra deck Pendulum monsters have an ability in their effects that allow them to be placed in the Pendulum Zone if a criteria is met or something. And with that guys, that is the Idiot's Guide to Pendulum Summoning.